welcome to another episode of Infoscope. I'm your host, Hannah Kim. It's once again time for the latest from the IT and science world. Let's take a look at what we have coming up in the first part of our show. Former United Nations Secretary General Pang Gi moon initially announced that he would run for President of Korea, but later changed his mind. It turns out that Big Data knew this well before his advisors did. We'll find out what Big Data predicted in just a bit. But first, we're going to take a look at some technological progress in North Korea. New reports from nonprofit organizations say that QR codes are being used in North Korea. In fact, multiple photos of QR codes on products sold in Pyongyang have made their way online. How will this change technology in the North? We have more on this story next on Infoscope. The Singapore-based non-profit organization Choson Exchange revealed photos of QR codes found on products at the supermarket or scientific exhibitions in Pyongyang, North Korea. The organization believes that with smartphone users and retailers on the rise in North Korea, QR codes will play a role in commerce and information sharing. Former UN Secretary General Pang Gi moons withdrawal from the Korean presidential race was predicted by big data service Google Trends. When Pan returned to Korea, the search interest index for him hit 100 out of 100, but this quickly plunged to the 20s as he became embroiled in controversial issues. Moving on to our next segment, as you may already know, spending an extended amount of time sitting reduces metabolic functions and in general, it negatively affects your health. On top of that, researchers have also found that it speeds up cellular aging by eight years. Find out the details in just a moment. But staying on a similar topic, I'm sure you've heard this your whole life, but experts recommend working out in order to stay healthy. And I bet you all had exercising regularly as a New Year's resolution, but more often than not, we may not be able to keep those resolutions for whatever reason. Here's where it gets cool. A new study suggests that exercising every day and exercising a week's worth in one go have a similar effect. Let's take a closer look at this research on Industry Inside. Office worker Lee Soo-yeon recently began going to a gym. No matter how busy she is, she pops in at least once or twice a week. Although we are advised to exercise regularly, what are the effects of cramming a week's worth of exercise in one day? A team of researchers from the United Kingdom set 150 minutes per week as the standard amount of exercise and conducted an experiment to see whether dividing that into several moderate sessions or cramming it into a vigorous session had any difference. They found that the effects were similar. Those who met the target over the course of numerous days had a 35% lower risk of death compared to inactive adults. Furthermore, their risks of dying from cardiovascular disorders and cancer were 41 and 21 percent lower, respectively. Similar effects were seen in those who did fewer but more intense workout sessions. A group of Canadian researchers came to a similar conclusion back in 2013. In short, quality matters more than frequency. However, there are certain precautions to take when it comes to vigorous exercise. Experts added that exercising regularly is more effective for losing weight or building muscle. Lee Jae-uk is a PR officer. Given the nature of his job, he spends the majority of the day seated in front of his computer. 아침에 출근해 갖고요. 어, 점심 시간 빼고 하면은 한 7에서 8시간 정도 앉아서 근무하는 것 같습니다. Sitting for a long time is not good for blood circulation and metabolism. 오래 앉아 있게 되면 우리 몸의 신진대사가 확실히 떨어지게 됩니다. 떨어지게 되면 결국에는 당뇨나 암, 기타 질환들이 발생할 확률이 훨씬 더 올라가게 되고 그것은 결국 우리 몸의 전체적인 건강 상태를 악화시키게 되는 요인을 갖고 있게 됩니다. New research now says that spending a long time seated is not only detrimental to health, but also accelerates aging. 
The researchers compared a group of women who exercise less than 40 minutes per day and stay seated for more than 10 hours against those who don't. They found that the cellular age of women who were seated for long periods was eight years older. The women with older cells were found to have shorter telomeres, an indication of aging. Telomeres are at the ends of each chromosome and become shorter as cells divide. The research showed that those who exercise for at least 40 minutes every day did not have shorter telomeres regardless of how much time they spent seated. The researchers state that regular stretching and an adequate amount of exercise can help slow down aging. This is footage of the night sky over Seoul recorded on January 31st. The bright star above the crescent moon is Venus. Suddenly, a star-like object appears to the right, slowly moving across the sky. It is the International Space Station. Above Venus, slightly to the left, there is a dim light. It is none other than Mars, the red planet. The moon and its neighboring planets, Mars and Venus, are all visible. The next day on February 1st, the moon, Mars, and Venus were almost aligned in a single line for the first time in 13 years since April 24th, 2004, in the western sky. This celestial show was best observed between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. on January 31st. For those who missed the sight, a similar phenomenon will happen again on October 17th this year at 5.30 a.m. in the eastern sky. Don't forget to mark your calendars if you missed the Starry Show in January. There's another one on October 17th, 5.30 a.m. this year. Let's now turn over to our next story. The recent avian influenza that hit Korea made eggs a rare delicacy. However, researchers have developed fortified eggs that come with special benefits. We'll give you more details on this in just a moment. And in other news, animal rights awareness is growing in Korea and it's also led to many bans on animal testing for cosmetics. However, we still need a way to test the safety of the products that come in direct contact with our body. Fortunately, scientists have now put forth a substitute, artificial skin testing. And we have more information on this ready for you now on Tech -a Peak. Tens of rabbits are locked up to show only their heads. Their eyes are bloodshot, as the researchers rub cosmetics on their eyeballs to see how they react. The European Union issued a ban on all animal-tested cosmetics in 2013, and Korea followed suit in February this year. What alternatives are there for testing the safety of cosmetics? The race is on to create artificial skin that can replace animal testing. The artificial skin made with Korean technology is as thick as the actual epidermis and is currently being used for product testing. Large-scale cosmetics manufacturers are also creating artificial tissues in-house in order to see how other parts of the body react. 독성이 나타나는 단계 단계의 기전을 연구하고 그 기전에 해당하는 조금 여러 가지의 시험법을 좀 복합적으로 활용해서 결과를 예측력을 높이려는 연구를 많이 진행을 하고 있고요. However, in order to receive approval to sell cosmetics, a company must conduct testing on OECD approved artificial skin, which tends to be made by American, French or Japanese companies. If Korean artificial skin technology improves and receives OECD certification, it will be able to replace imported artificial skin, which costs four to five times more. This milk has a higher protein and fat content than regular milk. It comes from cows that were given feed infused with microorganisms. With people's interest in health rising, fortified products like this milk are making their way into the market. Now, Korean researchers have developed fortified eggs based on similar principles. Chickens that were fed fermented organic buckwheat laid eggs that had higher levels of certain substances. The amount of L-cartanine, responsible for breaking down fatty acids, and GABA, a substance that helps tackle depression, increases when buckwheat is fermented. 
Mixing fermented buckwheat with chicken feed will increase the amount of these substances in the eggs as well. 화학적인 방법으로 대량 생산해서 보급이 되던 카르니틴 물질을 선물의 발효를 통해서 생산을 하였고 저희가 예상했던 것 이상으로 달걀 속에 엘카르니틴이 13% 이상, 가바가 8%가 포함이 되었습니다. The fermented feed had another positive result. The hens that consumed this feed laid 8% more eggs than those that didn't. The researchers also found that the eggs had thicker shells and were of generally higher quality. Eggs are rich in nutrients and protein. Adding natural ingredients is turning eggs into a high-value health product. This is the Chengna International City in Incheon. Apartment dwellers here refrain from opening their windows in the winter because of the strong sea breeze. However, resident Kim Kezun has no concerns about monthly heating fees. Kim had an additional layer added to her windows to trap heat. 제가 겨울철에 이사를 와서 굉장히 냉기를 걱정했는데요. 이 덧댐창을 하고 사용해 보니까 그 평균 20도로 고정을 시켜놔도 거실에서 아침 저녁으로 해가 없는 상태에서도 어, 크게 춥다라는 느낌을 못 느꼈어요. Another apartment complex nearby added blinds between the windows to prevent drafts from entering and heat from leaving. All of these applications were devised in Korea. The technology involves wrapping a cold aluminum frame with an insulating frame and trapping heat by inserting a new window or blind in the middle. This significantly reduces condensation on the windows and the windows also act as sound dampeners. Applying this technology to apartments resulted in a 25% drop in heating fees. 더창을 하는 경우에는 창 프레임까지 이제 단열을 잃을 뿐만 아니라 또창 틈에서 발생하는 그러한 그 틈새 바람을 이제 기밀하게 차단시킬 수 있는 이런 기술들이 이 안에 이제 같이 녹아져 들어가 있습니다. 그래서 고기밀, 고단열, 더창의 그런 그 기능을 이제 갖고 있습니다. This technology will be installed in three elderly welfare centers that have poor heating systems on a trial basis. Currently, about three-fourths of some seven million buildings in Korea are at least 15 years old. The researchers state that this technology can be implemented without major construction work, lowering heating and air conditioning fees. For those of you who pay the utilities, I'm sure you can relate, but I always get so scared to see the bills for heating in the wintertime and the AC in the summer. Hopefully this technology will help everyone have a warmer winter in the future, and of course a special thanks to all the scientists who are bringing positive changes for our daily lives. Now this concludes our episode of Infiscope. I hope you all learned something new from today's show, but remember we will be back next week with more from science and IT. But until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye.